We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support here. And in today's volatility, our SPY buy presented opportunities in both directions. At 9.40 a.m., it sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside and put options went up. 150 percent plus and in the second half of the day it sent out a bull indicator you could see that strength there inflows crossed over and call options went up 200 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index fighting to hold support and in today's video we're going to break down the key levels on watch going into tomorrow but before we do I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run today was spectacular beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run today was from our Tesla bot, our Tesla bot. At 9.40 a.m., sent out a bear indicator. From that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 70% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts here we are with the spy the s p 500 index doing a full transition from the rip area to the dip area yesterday and hitting the dip area once again today and bouncing back up to the rip area and if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy stock the s p 500 index with a bull indicator popping up at the 50610 area on the 30 minute chart and canceling out that bear indicator from yesterday at 50758 and you could see how it tried to come back up to key resistance levels up here near 507 and it's fighting here in the after hours to continue this possible staircase effect and i will be watching going into tomorrow if this strength can continue now it wasn't the only stock falling today and bouncing back up you could see it here with tesla falling all day trying to find support here and lots of eyes on it as it just got a bear indicator but it's still in this staircase effect here it needs to cancel out that bear indicator going into tomorrow and it was the home run of the day as you saw we mentioned it to the downside and apple right it fell with the spy and quickly into the second half full strength here from 180 continuing to find support here at critical levels as you could see it here in the history of the chart Got a bull indicator and full strength back up above 182.50 and lots of eyes on it if it's going to try to head and continue this staircase effect up towards 185. 
So I will be watching that going into tomorrow. And you can see the same thing here with the QQQ. Big drop and pop back up towards the opening prices of today, right? So lots of volatility in the overall market. Lots of bull indicators here to watch going into tomorrow. But on the SPY here so far on the 30 minute full transition from the dip area to the rip area followed by a bull indicator and if we zoom out and look at this from the one hour in the bigger picture it is still under a bear indicator since yesterday at the 50730 area and that's where things rejected here in the after hours going into tomorrow it's going to be crucial for this bear indicator to get canceled if the strength continues to the upside for those inflows to follow and this double bottom to actually have full strength here followed by bull indicators and inflows pushing upwards so i will be watching that going into tomorrow here in the bigger picture of the one hour now when we zoom into the volatility of the 15 minute we can see how much bull and bear indicators have popped up here in the last two days lots of volatility here and when we see it here we could see a bear indicator popping up at the open dominating for most of the day full transition from the rip area to the dip area found support near the lows here of yesterday's aftermarket hours and pop back up above that 505 area bull indicator popped up and started to dominate here in the second half of the day at 505.92 i would just round that up to 506 and back above the 507 area in the after hours and it is fighting here right there at 506.99 to get back above 507 and continue this staircase effect to the upside. Now I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflows and we're going to break down the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. Here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index with inflows trying to pick up in the first half of the day. And you could see why the rejection back down happened because those outflows started to dominate and further pull down those outflows towards new lows down here of negative 1.95 some of the lowest levels that we've seen in the last several days but it found support not that far off that level from yesterday's lows at 1.78 and then you could see it here switching from red to green and once those inflows crossed over that strength started to reflect into these charts and it's trying to create a staircase effect right here on the 30 minute and full transition back up on 42 vision now when we zoom out and look at it from the one hour we could see in the bigger picture that things have not started to move very quickly to the upside and they're fighting here within the volatility and this tight consolidation from 505 to 507 because inflows have been trying to pick up but they have not crossed the midpoint and i will be watching for this going into tomorrow right could these inflows continue green push back up get a bull indicator in the process and start to reflect that strength into these charts and try to retest key resistance levels i will be watching that here on the one hour chart going into tomorrow now in the volatility of the 15 minute we could see how outflows dominated on the first half of the day full transitions down full transition back up so far on 42 vision but we have inflows back above even though outflows has started slightly here from green to red it has not crossed the midpoint to the downside and that is why the charts have not completely collapsed right so i will be watching if these inflows could stay above and continue to roll over that strength into the 30 minute and one hour chart as well so what are the key levels i'll be watching going into tomorrow the first thing will be support if these outflows cross over to the downside on the 15 minute and roll that weakness over into the 30 minute as well the first support will be 506 then below that is 504.50 and then i'll be watching the 503 area now to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to continue pushing up switch from red to green continue this staircase effect here and roll it over into the 30 minute and one hour and the first resistance is 508.50 then above that is 510 and then i'll be watching the 512 area so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the born bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows i will be watching them very closely as they've crossed back up on all three time frames except for the one hour that is trying to get really close and i'll be watching that very closely as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money